how do you go from having a shop page that looks like this to this? And I'm gonna show you how to do that by using a custom field and it is a lot easier than what you think. Let's start building it. What we have over here at the moment is a loop grid that's already built out with obviously WooCommerce and Elemental. Make sure you've activated the Flexbox container and the loop grid in your elemental settings or the features tab. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and edit this template. And I just wanna show you what it looks like at the moment when you go into it, if we just go to the navigator, this is literally just a container. I've used a call to action widget just to kind of place uh, an item over here because I wanted to kind of style it a certain way in case you wanted to have a zoom effect, which we're not gonna go into here. I've got a text editor down here. I've got the product price and I've got the add the cart. The call to action, if I just go into the content, you can see there we have the product title. If I was to get rid of that, the product title will disappear and I might need to drop in another heading or a text editor. What we're gonna do is drop in another widget over here and I am gonna space these out a little bit as well. The obvious thing is that is whatever I add isn't gonna display anything because all of these products but just your standard WooCommerce, you know, your description, your featured image, you might have a gallery of images as well. But what we haven't identified yet is what is the image that is gonna go here? Now, for any of you that are thinking, well, can't we just use the gallery of images? Not really, because how do you define if you want image one, two, or three? We want a specific image to appear over here. So what we're gonna use is a custom field. And we're gonna use the plugin that everyone knows as the advanced custom fields or the ACF one. You can get it for free, go and activate, and install that. Once you've done that, go down over here to where you have ACF and then go and click field groups. Now I'm not gonna create a particular post type here or anything like that, I'm keeping it really, really simple. We're gonna go and create add new. Name the field group products image. I'm now gonna assign my first field or custom field here. We're only gonna have one which is image. It's basically the image type, corner image, and it will then generate the name over there. I'm not gonna do much to this if I'm really, really honest. I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. The only thing I will do is go down here and say the post type is equal to product down here. You will see lots of items over here. That's because this is my test website. So you can ignore nearly, nearly everything you see here basically. But we're gonna go for a product and then we're gonna hit save changes. When I go to any one of my products now and edit it and I scroll down, you'll now see the option for products image and the corner image. And all I'm gonna do is go and pick an image. So I've done that for all of the product items. Now we're gonna go back to our shop and the first thing I'm gonna do though is just readjust my layout ever so slightly over here. So I'm gonna go and add in a bit of gap for the row and column. I've gone for 30 on the rows and 30 on the column. This is in the loop grid. You go and click the style uh, tab over there. Now we're gonna edit the template again. And into my container, I'm gonna go and drop in a image like so. It doesn't really matter where we put it at the moment, okay? Because we are gonna position it. Instead of picking an image, we are now gonna hit the dynamic tags down here. You click that. Scroll down to where it says ACF, pick the ACF image field, then click the spanner or the wrench, and then over here you should see corner image. And you can see there the image has appeared. Now it won't appear for all of them until you save and you come out of the template. And I've set it to be 100 pixels in width and the maximum width. You can, if you want, adjust the height as well. Go and set, like if I go and do that, you get the option for fill, cover, contain if you want. We will give this a border type though. I'm gonna set it to be a one. You can, if you want, brand the color. I'm gonna give it some border radius. And then I'm gonna position it. So make sure you are definitely clicked on the image. Go to the advanced tab and where you have position down here, which should say default, go and hit absolute. What you don't want to do is pick fixed because then it will be there and you're just going to have loads of images just overlaying or layering on top of one another. What you want to do is go and hit absolute and then go and decide on now how do you want it to sit within that container. So horizontal, we're gonna move over to the right hand side. Do you want it at the top or bottom? You can clearly see it's overlapping. So let's sort that out. Let's just move it over, you know, uh, at slant just upwards. So we're gonna go with a minus 20 horizontal and we'll do a minus 20 on the vertical as well. So I've actually gone for minus 35 on the horizontal and minus 35 on the vertical just to get it in position. Now, one thing I've realized while I was doing this is that I've got transparent backgrounds here. 
So if I hadn't put it in exactly where it is now, you would have seen this border radius over here. So that's my fault over there. But if you have got a white background, you could, you know, position it a bit more or less going outside as well. What I've also done is just slightly reduced the size of this image from 100 pixel to 90 pixel. And I've also, if I just hit save and back, I've increased the width uh, of the rows and the columns for the loop grid to now be 50-50. You can, you know, modify it to how you look, but you can quite clearly instantly see what we've got going on over here. I mean, look, can you see here with the white background, you can see it overlapping there, which doesn't look so good. So please excuse that. All right. That's my fault. I should have had a pure white background there rather than transparent. However, can you see how we can start to have a completely different looking look for your shop? I mean, this is like this could be another image of the product, right? It could be just another position of the bag. It could someone be someone carrying it, but it could also be the category as well. So maybe you have like a particular uh, image for backpacks or casual or something like that. So don't be afraid of being a little bit creative. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.